This one is a patron vote winner and the theme is songs you can dance to. So get ready yeah. for a little chair dance. I hope you will join me in the chair dancing. But first of all, if you're interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I have just done a cover of Wicked Games by Chris Isaac. It is now out on Spotify, here on YouTube and on Apple. And I would love to know what you think. So what is the key to make songs you can dance to? High enough BPM, beats per minute. So you want to be able to get your groove on if you're like, doo, doo, doo. you can maybe do a waltz, but it's not got the same sort of energy. One, two, three, four. Um, you also need a lovely, solid, flowing voice. You don't want a kind of flimsy voice that sounds like it's gonna break at any moment. And that kind of, <laughs> that sounded really rude, but a light sort of voice might sound really good on a floaty ethereal piece. But for something like this, you want something that has a bit of punch, a bit of drive, and he certainly has that. Yet he also isn't um, pushing. His voice sounds safe. You want to feel safe so that you feel free to dance. That sounds really strange as if that would relate. It really does. If you feel like the voice is um, pushing, then it make, can often make you feel a little bit aggressive in your mood as an audience. And if you feel like the voice is safe, it can make you feel more joyous and want to dance. So I think that it depends on what you want to achieve as an artist. Now, this song was inspired by uh, the lead singer, John Kay's wife, and also his new stereo system, which uh, it's such a muso thing. <laughs> Close your eyes, girl. Look inside, girl. Let the sound take you away. This sounds like a Rocky Horror was based on it. I don't know if that's true. It might not be, but it has that Rocky Horror vibe. Um, not, it has vocals a little bit. Either way, it's really, really uplifting. And that's also due to his charisma. You can see he's just so easy on stage. He's really, really comfortable there. He's playing, he's playing with his mic stand. He's, he's singing to the audience. He's right in their faces. He's just enjoying being in the moment of that song. And why blooming not? Because it is so much fun.
I feel like this guy, he has really got his life in check. I also did a bit of research on him and he is also a wildlife conservationist. He does various projects supporting animals, human rights, the environment, and he just is enjoying life at the same time. And I think that that is something that's really interesting beyond singing. Are, you can tell that he's got this confidence and ease in him in his singing which probably goes into his greater life because I feel like you can tell so much about a person from how they attack music and I think that that is a brilliant place to live your life from it often means that you can go out and um, enjoy your life in ways that people often don't and it often means that you have enough headspace to do more of the things that you love and that will help the world and uh, so I always say work on yourself first find your own inner calm and your own confidence and before you feel like you have to do everything for everyone else because once you're balanced then you have enough space for yourself and I think he seems like one of those people <laughs> the joy comes from the band and him and their own feelings and their ability to just enjoy life in that moment and that brings joy to so many others thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one Bye.